Hi, everyone. Hi. Hello. 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 Hi. 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 Glad to see you. All right, guys. I am extremely glad to welcome you at our Wet Vibes live session. As we promised, today is a big day. We are releasing the freshest, the biggest wedding industry study that we have been working for several months. We started it, I believe, in May. So finally, we are at the point when we're ready to release it and share with you the main highlights and insights. And congratulations, because you are the first people who will see everything, get access to the data, and you can apply as we go. Literally now, everything that you will hear, you can start applying for your business and implement it. Before we start, as a tradition, I will ask you to put in chat your name, your location, where are you joining from, and your profession. And of course, let's put the chat on fire so you can put kind words, greetings to us, to me, to Daria, to your fellow participants, and yeah, tell a little bit more about your expectations, whatever you want. So I will have a, I will pause here to read about you guys, Sweden, Canada, Houston, South Africa, uh, California. Uh, awesome. Yeah, I can see Nashville. Nashville. Uh, so, so many awesome. people from all around the world. Oh yeah, yeah. Put chat on fire. Yeah, keep introducing yourself. And I see that people are joining. That is time to connect. And you all know that at Wet Vibes, our mission is to convert your talent into success, your talent into profit, and we empower you by all kinds of marketing and PR tools. That is why today we will be sharing main highlights of the trends and insights we have excavated in, during our study. And not only we will throw those insights into you, but we also will tell you how to apply it and how to leverage in your marketing and communication strategy to connect with right couples. And what I also want to point specifically that what actually make our live session special, that we work hard on putting the examples for you. It be not only throwing into you that people value emotions, for example, we will show you the exact examples, how you can showcase emotions, how you can pick the right part of the video or of your gallery to be seen and to connect with your audience. So grab your pens, and I promise you that you will get a lot of insights and value. And also the examples will inspire you just to apply it right away. And buckle up. Let's get started. Yes. Hello. Hello, everyone. I am just reading uh, the chat and greeting everyone once again from all around the world. And yes, let us tell you a bit more about ourselves uh, so for nine years, we're going to celebrate nine years in September, uh, Wet Vibes is a hub connecting couples to wedding professionals. We discover and showcase incredible talents, you guys, to the world and help you grow a business, be noticed and attract dream couples. We see our mission in action every day because at this point we help over, uh, I think, over a thousand of professionals to become successful entrepreneurs. Uh, the Vibes is owned by me and Alina. You can see us here. In case you see, you see us at the first time, we are two marketing experts uh, with extensive European and American connections. And we built, at this point, a seven-figure business. And you know us. You know our storefront is a media platform, and we showcase all of this stylish, trending, entertaining, educational content. But behind the scenes, we are we enabling wedding professionals to try to strategize marketing and attract the right couples. And we're going to talk about this today. It's all this became possible because we met with Alina five years ago in California, in Los Angeles. Yeah, and so I'm happy to introduce Daria real quick. She's a proven wedding and marketing expert. She was for nine years, I believe, almost a decade. She was a luxury wedding planner and organized weddings in all these amazing locations, Italy and France. And yeah, actually, our accent came from Europe. We were Europeans. 
as well as Daria did uh, marketing campaigns and creative campaigns for household brands such as Tiffany and Jo Malone. And today she's responsible and she's leading Vet Vibes content, blending art, fashion, and digital trends into our aesthetics that Vet Vibes is known for. Yes, and Alina is a marketing expert with 15 years experience. She's oversaw marketing with what the brands you know and love from childhood, at least me. It's uh, Nutella, KitKat, Vitera Rocher. Uh, all of the brands are the worldwide known. She makes every brand she works with more appealing. We call it more sexy even. She understands the consumer needs and transforms the talent, your talent and creativity into profit, which is the most important part, right? And that's exactly what she has done with her wet vibes. And she helped, like she in particular is a mastermind because she helped so many professionals to become successful and to create their seven, six, six figure, seven six figure successful businesses. Yeah, as you can see, we came from different background. And I know because we connected with a lot of our members, I know that some of you has very similar to my experience. You came from corporate world, like you did marketing or finance somewhere and you ended up in weddings. Others like started as Daria and you've been doing your entrepreneurial job since like the early of your career. So no matter how you started and no matter how we started on our mission and ambition to disrupt the wedding industry, we start working together. And yeah, we just hit 200,000 followers on Instagram. And I believe that you have all witnessed that. And it's not only followers to us. We know that we work hard to actually attract the well-educated, smart, elegant, sophisticated audience. And we take a pride that they not only follow us, they trust us, they trust our recommendation, they're very loyal to us, as well as we actually elevated wedding industry and over 1,000 wedding professionals grew their business with us. I hope some of you that attended our session today all also benefit from our live session marketing course or did our consultations, marketing consultations with us. For example, we put here Natalie. She's a founder of a makeup studio, La Beige, from Arizona. And her leads jumped from 25% to 90 which is like incredible. And because we help her to understand her ideal client, how to pinpoint her on the ideal client. And now she has like 90% of her leads basically end up with booking. That is huge success. And that was amazing two months journey with her. As well as... 500,000 people, and we can move on. Wedding professionals elevated their portfolio with us on the editorials. And I believe some of you who joined us today also participated or will be participated in our editorials. We did already editorials in 15 countries from South Africa, Mexico, United States, and Europe. And yeah, our new locations is growing. And <clears throat> yeah, that is like extremely, we're really proud of doing that and doing all these editorials at top tier venues. And last and not least, we help household brands, our partners to be seen and to be noticed by right couples, by right audience. And this is like the main highlights of what we accomplished because five years ago we met at UCLA, all right. And now at the next chapter of our growth is study and we are, we are getting to the point. And uh, let's just wrap, wrap again. Our goal was to uncover the trends and insights that elevate wedding industry and help to connect the right couples with right vendors, pretty much as you. And <clears throat> we structured our insights and uh, the session today into, I believe, three main blocks. And the first one is wedding experience. I think that we can move to the next slide now. Yeah. Oh, okay. no, before we will talk about that, let's, yeah. Yeah. Let's see who joined so our study. We wanted to tell you a little bit more of who participated in the study. So you will understand who, who we gathered all these insights from. So we decided initially to go with 360 degrees approach and inter we interviewed both sides of this market. Of course, first, of it's uh, couples. Uh, 50, 571 uh, engaged couples from all around the world participated and answered all of our questions. 
And here you can see the main characteristics. So majority of them are plan uh, planning destination weddings with uh, 50 or more guests. And they have a budget from 200,000 up to 1 million US dollars. And the main countries they did uh, join us from uh, United States, uh, United Kingdom, uh, Australia, and France. So here are our couples. And of course, the second, they are our experts. It was super important to us to get insights from every professional who contributes to each wedding. So that's why we... Uh, conducted 50 deep interviews with top e experts in key professions. It was planners, photographers, videographers, content creators, uh, floral designers, makeup artists, fashion stylists, even venue managers and uh, PR and marketing specialists who help professionals with their business goals. And we want to uh, dedicate this time, this slide to thank you to everyone who saw our announcements and decided to participate in this study. You helped us to build this holistic vision, holistic approach on the industry uh, and help to understand the main growth drivers. And we're going to talk about this today. Now, the great news that, as I said, you are first people who see the data, the fresh data, and also we secured publications of our study in Harper Bazaar and Harvard Business Review. It will be on the air in September, so the report, all like the main parts, will 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 be also available there, and that is also very exciting for us. And now, let's start talk about re real meat. First, yeah. wedding experience. As I promised, we will start with this chapter, and not only the inside, but how to apply it for your business as well. The first trend that I believe many of you already witnessed, and I want you to give us feedback in the chat if you also see this trend, that weddings are tra transitioning into multi-day experience. So beyond one day starting with a bride's morning and finishing with a cake, it's basically an extended celebrations. Question to you, as I will give you some more uh, comments on that, if you also witness that trend, because that is one of the biggest trends in the wedding industry overall. So wedding celebration become across multiple days, including wedding parties, rehearsal dinners, post-wedding brunches, huge and like over weekend bachelorette parties hiking, pickleball, pool parties, games, and everything that helped to create lasting memories with guests. Question to you. I see a silence in chat. <laughs> yes. Do you see this as well? Or is this something like we made up? Um, experience. Yeah, so yeah, it's all about experience these it's days. It's all about experience. And that's why, all right. So I believe, yeah, you see it. You know about that. Maybe it's not like the breakthrough knowledge, but let's talk. So what? How we can apply for us, for our marketing, for our build, brand building? If you have any idea, put it in the chat and I will share what we put together for you. So first, of course, it's your Instagram content. We've seen hundreds and thousands of Instagram and majority of wedding professional post galleries of your like ceremony and the main highlights of the wedding. What we encourage you to do based on this huge trend and based on the demand of the couple, they don't want one day picture perfect. They want the experience, they want to connect with the guests. So what you can also incorporate in your Instagram, it's pretty much ideas, experience and guests, which sounds very obvious maybe, but not everyone do it. So think more when you're crafting your feed for nine posts, or I don't know if you're just crafting the next post, it can be a post just showcasing what people did through these like two days. Of course, destination weddings is part of this trend of experience because they turn into the vacation. And yeah, if you fly out <clears throat> your parents and your family and your friends, of course, you expect not only just a huge floral decor, decor you, you, you of course want to explore together. So destination weddings is part of the number one. And if you're a destination professional showcase, not only the beautiful venue, but also what people can do if, if they like spend thousands of, of dollars flying to Italy. 
what they can explore, where they can go, what kind of food they can eat. So it's all like beyond just beautiful galleries. That is the first. And we can see a um, couple of examples that we put together, as I promised. And they're very straightforward. We intentionally didn't, you know, plug here some multi-billion dollar weddings. We pretty much gave give, uh, given here the examples that many of you have in your portfolio, that the project many of you have. Just showcase it, twist it from the experience uh, point of view. That is number one. Second, if let's say you don't have a lot of destination weddings or not yet you have a lot of weddings with experience, you always can bring inspiration from brands. And this is, for example, schemes. I know that you are all guys aware of schemes. That is a huge brand of Kardashians, no matter how you build, how you like, what are your thoughts about Kardashian family? Schemes are known for creating all kinds of creative pop-ups. So you can totally, first of all, follow their account for inspiration and not only Jacques Mew, some other account for inspiration. And also you can bring up this experience to inspire your couples to do some weddings and to do some activities that they never thought about. But you basically put it together and inspired them. So everything is turning around experience today. And yeah, think how you can incorporate the experience into your feed, at least, right? When people just look into your account, how you can inspire them. Yeah, so basically the main goal is to publish not only the couple or the beautiful gown of the bride, but yeah, showcase the cocktails. Like here we saw it as a, uh, experience during the wedding or just to showcase the, showcase the sweet moments like the dog or yeah just drain your inspiration from the big brands the second biggest trend is authenticity over tradition self-expression just let us know once again in the chat if you feel like the couples today uh, creating the weddings that reflect their own unique personalities, values, and style, and they move in away from traditional norms and parental influence. So they, we see all the time that they question all of these classic scenarios, like should the bridal gown be white or include a whale, or should they meet each other at the ceremony, or should they? even exchange rings or maybe instead of it they can exchange tattoos okay so i can see that the people are agreeing with me in the chat okay great with yeah. me it's not us <laughs> i didn't agree with so something i'm saying that's what i meant yeah i just had a couple who ditched the second outfit as a glam dress but instead comfy sweatpants great this is so cool yeah and uh, we actually uh, found the amazing example uh, here, uh, Alex and Jamie. Maybe you know this wedding because like we published it and not only us. So their celebration actually became the viral sensation and even got published in Vogue, of course, in Red Vibes. And their creative souls, uh, videographer and the artist, they wore unconventional looks. They cut the watermelon in the end of the ceremony. They quoted letters of Johnny Cash as wow. So let's just take a look. What's wrong, Ramon? Losing your touch? Shoot to kill, you better hit the heart. Aim for the heart or you'll never stop me. Yeah, just because they weren't this classic uh, romantic couple uh, that we see all the time, they just got, yeah, once again, with the viral sensation. So how can we use it how can we leverage it how can we implement it in our content strategy first of all we showcasing emotions that's the main idea we wanted to share with you guys so whenever uh, even with us publishing all of this beautiful content we seek the moments that we actually get, can catch on that we can highlight in the stories we publish and we know that the, every wedding has the hundreds and thousands of those little moments. And the idea is here just to highlight this one, just to catch on of that and maybe create a specific reel, a specific video about it, or even implement 
the iPhone photos. Sometimes it's just much better than you just can showcase this raw moment instead of the polished, uh, polished one. And but highlight the all the emotions and help us dive into this couple's story, into the unique story. So here's one of the greatest examples we published recently. Uh, the groom's dad died recently, and here's what happened during the ceremony. Oh, it doesn't have any sound, but I mean, you can understand it, I think. Or can you hear the, the, the music or no, nothing? We can read the captures. Yeah, but I mean, no. No sound, okay. But you can read the captures here. So basically the idea here was that this, birth they just flew in into the ceremony and it just stayed and first of all it sat on the dad's chair because they still uh hold the chair held the chair for him and it stayed for the whole ceremony and the, for the rest of the wedding they stayed the, this this small bird just stayed with a uh, different wedding guests and they decided it just a sign from uh, the universe that the dad is still watching over them and this syrup celebrates all of this beautiful and uh, your emotional uh, moments of them. Yeah, <laughs> it even sat on mom's head. So yeah, it's just a beautiful uh, uh, reminder that uh, the loved ones are watching over us. And you can watch it later with a sound uh, in our Instagram <laughs> and try not to cry. Yeah, so once again, this could be, uh, and I'm sure the the Roman Vera, like the videographers, they will create um, the other, like the more traditional video. But here's the one just highlighted this particular moment, and this is super emotional and it's beautiful. You can also tell us stories about the couples, and once again, like we talked the cocktails or like the, about the uh, pickle bowl or whatever experience you had during the wedding, you just can highlight those things. Yeah, just showcase this one is iPhone video actually. There's a showcase couple who are huge fans of the vinyl records and how they implement this detail into the wedding. And once again, this is like the super uh, interesting and important thing that you just showcase that they are not. Uh, traditional they have their own interest they have their own interest uh, hobbies so you can showcase it on the wedding and of course your personal style and we talked about it a lot to showcase who you are and here's like the amazing example of Jenny Swan she's a uh, photographer she also the traveler she loves horses she loves animals she supports them she even spent like the months in South Africa or in Kenya uh, in those camps there you uh, uh, connect with horses, <laughs> groom them and ride them. So, and this is how you, so everyone, each of us, each of us, we are unique as well as so showcasing our hobbies, our personalities, our unique style. It also helps us to connect with couples. We don't have to be loved by everyone. We usually, we need around 30, 40 clients, maybe less per year. Just think about it. And highlighting your personal style will help you connect with your couples, with a right target audience. Yeah, for those who are looking how to express themselves with the right professional. Yeah. Number three, tailored and customized. So put in chat your thoughts about this. Because every time we speak now with couples during our interviews, or we also had conversations with our experts, they, everyone bring up that. They want to be seen. And in every detail, from decor to attire, everything should be tailored to reflect the couple's individual tastes and preferences. That is pretty much connected with the idea of the, like, to be expressed, to, to express and showcase themselves. Um, yeah, it's expected. That's true. From, like, the even the bridal gowns, everything. And before we will jump into how you can apply, I can tell you how we are applying it right now for Wet Vibes. First, we are changing our editorial experience. 
right? And also, you know, that in our editorials, we usually have the real couples, not just models. So we do the research, who are they are as people, and we try to incorporate these small details into our shoot. Again, to give this texture, to give this power and like this ambience of a real wedding, like connected with the personalities, who they are. So this is what we did based on everything that we talked about for our experience, also to help our participant to craft a real portfolio and also what you can do. And here we will talk more, not about Instagram content, but about how you uh, lead the inquiries. And this is a quote before we'll go there. The most successful businesses are those that understand the importance of treating each customer as a unique individual with specific needs. Pretty much here, we will talk about do your homework and make a research. If the couple or the bride in many cases inquire you and the page is open, or if you follow them, they will open for you. Check what are those hobbies, who they are as persons and how you can basically connect with them based on what you already know about them. For example, here we put different brides. Right on the left is Erica Hammond and on the on, on the left, on the right is Alex. If you just simply look into the Instagram, can you tell me the difference? Can you describe me the first one, Erica? Who is she as a person? You can put in the chat. Like, let's say you get an inquiry with this girl, what you will highlight, how you will talk to her. Put in chat your thoughts. Who is she as a person? What that's, a, that's a difficult <laughs> that's homework. Easy. Look, yeah, that's easy. I mean, yeah, travel, all... wild, adventure. Exactly. She's sporty. Mm -hmm. Also, she's very attractive. She loves, loves uh, show off. And you can tell she had like the beautiful swimsuit. She knows how attractive she is. She like very expressive. And yeah, she does a lot of sport and a lot of like extreme sport, luxury travel and like very vibrant personality. If you look on the right, which is Alex, you can see that even from the first glance, she's an artist. Even her feed is very much curated, right? Every post, it's not just not the random event from her life. Everything like speaks to each other and bonded. Also, you can see that it's more like pure emotions and also like artistry, some moments. And you see that she has like you know, the picture with her fiance or the husband. Yeah, it's very much like in a very every detail, you can understand that it's very romantic, vintage and art person. And she values the real connections. So the, the, these girls are very different. And when you will just talk to them about their wedding, even from the first inquiry, you can start mirroring them. You can start bringing up some facts that you already learned about them and how they inspired you to do this or that, or how you can put mood board if you're a photographer or planner. This is the first. Again, responding to the inquiry based on what you already know, not with your just generic templates or scripts, which we understand save you a lot of time and energy, but it loses the moment when basically you can highlight something from the person who reached you out and this is how they understand they, they are seen. And what's really important in this trend about tailored and customized, it's not really connected of with how much money couple have. Sometimes they don't have enough money actually to tailor everything, but that is more connected to their request to be understood. So the better you can show that you looked into them, you spend your time, your energy into understanding who they are, the higher chances you will stand out for them. Because yeah, there is like, we all know everything about ghosting, about the like couple's mistrust because they've been bombed with a lot of professionals. So if you do your homework, there are higher chances they will connect with you. And of course we keep talking about customized proposals and yeah, it's not an easy task, but again, we are, we are living in the new reality of weddings. And that is why we are talking about this like latest industry trends. And I would say that customized proposals, if you talk about luxury market, not the like wedding when they spend $2,000 for the photographer. No, we talk about really high tickets. They expect this customized proposal. So this is the job to be done to maybe craft several templates. And we have like a full spectrum of this 
customize proposals in our course, how you can simply like plug uh, the necessary data to make it look customized, but save you time. But again, that is not a nice gesture as of now. It's something that should be in your asset, in your brand asset, when you send the proposal to your to your brides and grooms. Yeah, and uh, we are moving to the next chapter, actually, how couples choosing vendors. And as you can see here on this slide, uh, it's uh, for a majority of them, it's uh, uh, the same. It's the most important part of the planning. And for the most of them, is they consider it the biggest challenge to find and connect with the right vendor because there's so many of them. Just in the United States, the health million of wedding professionals, everyone, photographers, planners, cake makers, etc. So let's dive deeper. We asked 571 engaged couple, uh, we ask them, where are they looking for the vendor? Of course, Instagram, as you can see here, holds the trophy. I mean, no, there's no surprise here, but we can see also here that everything is actually important. They would also ask friends from recommend, uh, for recommendations, um, especially the couples who recently got married. Uh, they will check the blogs like Wed Vibes to scroll through directory and write down favorite talents, favorite artists, and they will Google. So what's our main insight here? So basically, I think you, like most of you are familiar with a golden rule of marketing. It applies for every brand in, in, in the world, in every country, and we are not exceptions because we are personal brands or we are... Uh, the small businesses with still brands were not exception. Uh, it takes three to five touch points uh, with the same vendor to make a decision, meaning that they have to find you, they have to see you everywhere. They will look at your Instagram. Maybe they will find you through the hashtag. Maybe they will receive the uh, recommendation from their friends or maybe from other vendor. Uh, they will see you on Vet Vibes or on Vogue or on uh, Style Me Pretty. They will see you maybe in some offline event. So basically it means for us what we have to uh invest a lot in our marketing the talent is basically it's not enough for us to become known if we want to reach out to our right couples we have to dig through all these channels to actually connect with them three to five touch points so step into your game and start working on your instagram be present there at least once a week uh, think about uh, featuring in different directories think about your SEO, think about your networking, and we're going to talk about this later uh, in the next slides. And now let's talk about inspiration, right? Where do you think couple go for inspiration? In many cases, it's brew, brides. Of course, it's Instagram. I think it's not a surprise. It will be a surprise if it will be TikTok. No, Instagram. Um. Thank you for your comments about three, five touch points. Maybe they're even more today. That's correct, Michael. All right, so let's talk about inspiration. Instagram is almost 90%, which is pretty much obvious, right? But Pinterest also huge, 74. And we will talk about that down the road because sometimes we forget about Pinterest. Like it's not as necessary, as important, but that's big about inspiration. Also wedding blogs and TikTok. TikTok maybe will be growing. We will see the trend, surely. And But now it's like 30% of brides and also when we chatted with them, they really sometimes love TikTok better just because the platform is more comfortable for them. So it is like if you feel natural with TikTok, if you feel that like TikTok DNA speaks to you, you can also totally consider that. And yeah, to Instagram, what we want to talk here. We specifically for Instagram, if some of your potential couples right now are... Uh, now, looking on your Instagram, we really encourage you to take a picture of this slide and also put some of the insights that you like the most from the study, from the current industry trends, just again to show that you sharpen trend, that you are a great professional and you 
understand what's going on in the industry. So again, the Instagram is the biggest platform for inspiration and for looking for the vendors, both, right? So totally, if you like thinking which platform to develop in Instagram, and yeah, right now it's a good time to create a piece of content to shape the perception that you are very experienced and very professional, very great professional. And let's talk about Pinterest a little bit. And the question to you, how many of you, um, let's say, develop your Pinterest or at least duplicate your Instagram content? I'm wondering, because it's huge. Even for us, it was a huge surprise how big it is. I do, great job, Sarah. Diana, yes, them, yes, but not enough. It's It's never enough, guys. Trust me, it's never enough. So if you, if you, Instagram is the most important, but yeah, at least start duplicating your content. And this is the example of what we do for the wet vibe, for wet vibes. It's also a hard job for us, to be honest. But yeah, just think about that 74% go to Pinterest. And if they discover you on Pinterest, it's zero cost for you. Sometimes zero cost. They will click on you and they will like land on your Instagram. So duplicate it, but not just randomly duplicate structure with folders like mood boards, inspiration. And this is how you can get extra exposure with zero cost. But you will invest some time. So, but it's always a question, what shall I invest time or money or both? So yeah, that is a great um, resource to look into. And basically, you know, Darcy, she had like, she hosted this live session a couple of weeks ago, and she is a huge ambassador on Pinterest. And she said that she had a lot of, especially like earlier, she used to have a lot of inquiries from coming from exposure coming from Pinterest. All yeah, right. When, when duplicating content, just basically copy and paste it from Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Because let's say what we mean by duplicating, if you have a one piece of content, let's say you created a reel for your Instagram, right? You can totally just post it on Pinterest. You can do it with TikTok as well. But usually just DNA of TikTok is different. It's more genuine, more like behind the scenes. So it has a chance that your video will get some traction, but pretty low chances to be honest so usually when you do tiktok and instagram a lot of people do different type of content just which fit better for the platform but for pinterest everything that you do for instagram speaks really good with pinterest and of course it never hurts to put it on tiktok as well you, you never know if it will really pick up but the chances is not really high um Okay, and yeah, 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 you do add your link, and there is a special gadget. Actually, that's a great question. We also understood how Pinterest, how big Pinterest is. So we actually, in our course, we incorporated one lesson about Pinterest, and we also cover that. Yeah, you, there is a special like tool you can easily connect it with your Instagram, and every time they they click on your picture or video in Pinterest, they land on your Instagram. So this is how you have like this traffic. The extra traffic uh all right so moving that was number five. moving on yeah i'm trying to move on and it doesn't work <laughs> wait a second yes okay great so we also asked our engaged couples uh what is the most useful content for them what kind of content are they seeking on the instagram on the wedding blogs like ours and here we wanted to uh, actually catch your attention and to show you case like these different, these important numbers. Of course, they're looking at the love stories and real weddings, but they are just uh, the minority of them, just the 42 percent. They, of course, it's important for them to look at the top list of wedding vendors. And in our previous live sessions, we talked about this also that you have to uh, be present and have recognition from someone else to not only talk about you and how awesome you are, but to, from others to talk about how awesome you are. But here are the main things. The, the majority of them, the 77% are actually looking at ideas and trends, especially in terms of the concept. Here they we mean uh, it's uh, all decor ideas, the floral ideas, just basically the experience ideas like we discussed earlier like what can we do can we uh, play in a pickleball <laughs> or should we write the ice cream card or should we create the cocktails bar etc they also written interviews with wedding professionals because once again personality matters and they want to understand if they actually can create the connection with this person if they understand each other because they 
totally understand that they're going to spend with you at least the whole day during their wedding, but also sometime in terms of preparations, especially if we talk about wedding planners. And of course, all the tips, because basically the tips are the most watchable content, I would say, on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok, all, all, all of them. So how can we implement that? We can publish not only our wedding stories, our inspirational shots, our editorials. We can also showcase and highlight our expertise and give them value. First of all, in terms of Instagram value, it actually, uh, it's it's a super engaging content that will basically bring you, especially if you post, post it in Reels format, it will bring you uh, more followers. So it's basically the great idea for your content, nonetheless, but also for attracting your target audience. Just share your tips and advices. Once again, they are looking for trends. You can tell them all about trends. You can uh, showcase it in terms of your profession. Like if you're florist, you can showcase them the, the florals, uh, the, the floral designs, the bouquets that are trendy right now. Or you can just work in general and you just tell them all around, the, all about the colors, the experience, even from insights from our live session today. You can showcase them like what's, what are the trends for the couples for 2025? Just an example here. I mean, it could be real, it could be gallery, it could be even as a mood board and you can publish it on your Instagram. You can do it in collaboration with your friends. Uh, you can combine your expertise, like from photographer uh, photographer's perspective, from a floral designer perspective, makeup artist perspective. Uh, you can also, of course, give them uh, the advices and tips how to choose the best videographer for example so here uh guys they just published the story uh the story about how, the questions you need to ask your wedding photo uh, video yes, you cannot see the questions here because they put them in the comments which also the great hack how to hold the tension of your target audience but basically you know all of these things you know all of these questions that you want your potential couples to ask you so they're going to be uh the well educated in terms like what the kind what the what's the final result is going to be uh you can also share some hacks and tips here Girls, if you're getting married, I have a pro tip for you. Instead of having your makeup artist and hairstylist only in the morning, invest in having them next to you throughout the whole day. Not only that you will feel much more secure knowing that you always look stunning and that you have a team next to you doing touch-ups throughout the whole day, you will also have an opportunity to change your looks throughout the day. So whenever you change your wedding dress, you can also change your look. And I have to say, as a wedding photographer, it's completely different when you have someone to do the touch-ups for you all the time. Right? I mean, who who here doesn't know this hack? It just... It's super simple, plus it's super beneficial for you, for everyone, for the planner, for the photographer and the videographer, if the makeup artist will stay for the whole day, even for, it could be for the touch-ups or to, for the, the different uh, looks changing. So it's all beneficial for you. It's super simple for you, but not for your couples. So your homework today will be <laughs> just to sit down and think about content ideas, creative ideas, how to showcase your value. Uh, once again, it could be in collaboration with someone else's. It could be some tips of how to hire you or like the, someone from your profession. It could be something super simple and beneficial for you. Or it could be something just about trends and you can take the trends from today's live session. That's, can I chime in? Don't show the next slide because I have a question to the audience. First, there is a question from Melissa and thank you for the question because yeah, that's a great chance to talk through and I saw Alex already replied that. Can you explain why couples would be interested in trends when their main goal is to reflect authenticity? That's very fair, but this authenticity doesn't come out of the blue, right? First, we want to know what's going on in the industry. We like as many real weddings we see, trends we see, we can better understand what we like, what we don't. 
and also how what like speaks to us better and how we can showcase ourselves it just doesn't come from us as well as for the artist right you don't create something from nothing you actually have watched a lot of movies a lot of like commercial campaigns like Jack Mew, and then you create something. So this is the same journey for the couples. And that is really important to understand. When we talk that they want to express themselves better, it doesn't mean that they just ditch everything that's going on in the industry. No, you stay in the industry for many, many years because it's your bread and butter. You know everything. But when like I got proposed, I have no idea what's going on. I haven't following all these wedding blogs. No, I mean, some, some of them do, but not everyone. And here, how I get familiar with, all right, what's going on? And then once I realize what's going, going on, I try to understand what I like, what I don't like, and how I can showcase myself during the wedding. Because let's say if I I live like as a financial manager, for example, I, I do the P&L spreadsheet and I go work out every day. I don't think every day, what are the like traditional wedding and non-traditional wedding? But once I look into the trends, I understand, all right, the traditional wedding and this ceremony and like this blah, 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 and I want to do something different. Or like, and this is how this demand is growing in the couples. So trends is still pretty much fundamental and it's a great introductory for many brides and grooms. And also that is a great touch point for them to connect with you. So don't please uh, like make their own conclusions out of uh, this authenticity trend and what they want to consume, what they want to read. Yeah, and so this is a comment uh, from Ellie. So uh, I've noticed a lot of recent trends are leaning towards being your more authentic self and staying away from traditional in every aspect. Once again, you can uh, basically uh, drive your agenda here. If you can see that uh, they are not tra traditional, so they, these are the trends you want to attract the couples like this, you can uh, just highlight these ideas and they will basically follow these trends and they will uh, express themselves and be their unique selves here. Yeah, yeah, and let's pause because I have a question to you guys. We will now see into the numbers, top five most important factors when choosing a vendor, right? What do you think are top five? Or at least like, what is the most important? What is the biggest factor? Give me your ideas and then we will reveal the numbers. We should have done this poll, but yeah, we, we will do this next time. Just give your best guess, personality. All right, thank you. That is not far from the truth. What else? What else do you think really important for couples when they choose vendors? Reputation. Affordability. Budget. Budget. Yeah, budget is yeah very true. Budget is something that is, of course, always fundamental. That's very true. They understand the assignment. Very great point. Reviews, authenticity, uh, trust, reviews, recommendations, professionalism, trust, style. Great. You pretty, pretty much nailed it. Style, brands, aesthetic, recommendation. Yeah. So let's now reveal those numbers. Yeah, budget. You won't see budget because budget, it's like, it's essential, right? Everyone cares about budget, no matter how many million you have for your wedding. It's still a big point of concern. Yeah, budget is here. Also, top five factors. Experience and portfolio. You mentioned that in different wording, but pretty much, yeah, of course, everyone want to work with experienced professional. But the biggest insight here that you see, there is not a big gap between first one and last one, right? Like everything is important. Woohoo! <laughs> All right. That's uh, good to know. Everything is important. Portfolio and experience. Personality is a second um, line. That is surprise, surprisingly, because a lot of professionals usually have this idea that my portfolio speaks for me, not always. Personality is almost as important. Reviews, you guys mentioned that, and of course, it's a very powerful source. So don't forget to post reviews every time on your Instagram, not only once on your website. Uh, recommendations from people I know, and we will talk about that, and passion for my wedding. And actually, you also know, noticed and noted that in the comments. All right, so what we want to bring to your attention, two biggest insights, because experience and portfolio, we all know that it's important. Yeah, we don't need to talk more about that. But what we want to talk about first, that personality and passion for my wedding is almost as important as your experience and portfolio. So if you still didn't create a post about yourself, 
uh, on your Instagram. If you still didn't share some behind the scenes, please do. And again, to my point that we will give you a lot of examples, let's watch some examples, which we really love. Basically, the most important thing here was like in the beginning, if you like, uh, yeah, can you see it? If you like Chile and indie romance uh, movies and Jane Mac are uh, the right choice for you. Uh, here, uh, here, the same, like uh, the video from uh, the same uh, duo. Yeah, you are the wedding and videographer, and you believe that life was love. So they basically put out their statements, and you can uh, see how passionate they are about their weddings, and you can understand who they are as a people. And also shared values. Yeah, that is some backstage from Sync. Uh, again, showing her work. Yeah, and uh, I would say, like, I, I just wanted to highlight here that the most important part is uh, the emotions are the, from the couple, then they just first saw the final result. And uh, you can see, like, she dedicated so much time and effort to create all of this like, impeccable experience for them. And for the passion, we have a great quote. I, I believe many of you know this quote, but I will read it out loud again. I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. Again, if you're really passionate about your work, especially if you're passionate about doing wedding with this specific couple, that connection, it's like they it makes goosebumps and this is how they most probably will end up booking you, even if maybe you're less experienced. For example, it can happen. Yeah, and we wanted to once again uh, show you the same slide of how, like, what are the main factors, of how to choose your perfect, uh, the right wedding vendor. And here, the uh, point we wanted to highlight and to talk to you about is recommendation from the people I know. And the majority of people actually voted for uh, this option as well. And uh, the wedding industry and as a service industry, and uh, it's super emotional, it's super intimate in ways that we, like all of us, experienced weddings once in a lifetime, maybe twice or <laughs> three times the most. But still, it's a it's the most important decision they actually make. Uh, in life, how like who to choose, how to create this beautiful event, like what kind of uh, event do I foresee for my celebration? So the recommendations are super important here, and we wanted to talk to you to you about recommendations from two sides. First of all, we are not forgetting that the professionals are recommending us. And it's not only the wedding planners, and we're going to talk about it right now, and also from couples. But first, let's talk about the professionals. So everyone in this industry can recommend you. The photographers, the, even the, the cake bakers, the makeup artists, the floral designers. If you develop the friendships, it uh, could be possible that they will just recommend you. And we see in this industry, they are like all... Always, we see all of these chains of like the close circles and people establish friendships, and you can see them working all the time on the different projects. Maybe you have this kind of close circles, circles as well, or you want to break into someone else's circles. So follow the wedding professionals you love, comment their stories, comment their posts, develop the friendship, the genuine, real friendship. If you feel like you not only have the same aesthetics, the same style, but you also can connect as people, invite them for the couple cup of coffee or uh, for, I don't know, the glass of wine. Collaborate and create opportunities. And we talk about that a lot on our live sessions. And if you haven't watched our live sessions before, they're available for you in um, recording. Uh, we call it the give first approach. So try and think whenever you try and want to work with someone, try and think about opportunities. You can, um, as a photographer, offer them to create a portrait for them, like the headshot. As a floral designer, you can send them a bouquet. Uh, as a wedding planner, you can send them, I don't know, the box of cookies or like the chocolate. It's just something else 
something that you can offer in the beginning to attract their attention. And uh, we talk about this a lot. You can also create this um, genuine connection by posting about the people you love to work with and whose work integrity you like. You can uh, dedicate posts for them on your Instagram. Uh, you can create a post in, about particular venues you love to work with, about the particular stationary designer, once again, and you love their work on the recent project you had together. Here, even uh, the small reel about the waiters on the venue and how they bravely overcame the rain during the event. <laughs> And just a small but super emotional teaser that was dedicated for the venue and how the waiters helped each other with umbrellas uh, and uh, how they delivered food to the, all the tables. You can highlight all of these people. You can share the post about them. Most likely, they will return the favor and they will post something about you. And we always say that the mutual appreciation brings mutual clients. And of course, uh, attend all the events offline, like here during our live sessions, or uh, on, I'm sorry, online and offline, like Engage Summit or like the Kindred Collective. There are like so many of them. And of course, recommendations and networking with your couples. So we always say that the final result, the final, uh, the day of the event, it's not the end of your work. So you your work is end, uh, ends whenever you start posting about your couples, whenever you leverage all of their testimonials, all of the uh, feedback and how you can do it, how you can uh, inspire them to share testimonials about your work. First of all, tell stories about them. And we talked about this in the previous, uh, in the beginning of our live session. Tell stories, highlight all this, this beautiful, touching, emotional moments. Praise them, celebrate them, uh, showcase uh, the emotions. So here, uh, always remember to congratulate them uh, with anniversaries. Showcase the emotions like we saw in uh, Le Petit uh, Privé example before in the previous slides. Like you can see the emotions of the couple when they first saw the final result. Showcase, like help, like ask them to record themselves when they're watching your photos or videos like here in Jay and Mac example. <laughs> And this is the best marketing tool that you can use ever in like in all of your strategies. You can all also highlight them and celebrate them uh, during some special occasions like Happy Pride Month. This is Pride Month. <laughs> As a, this this just short teaser with fashion culture <laughs> announcing this is a Pride Month that Jay and Mac actually celebrated all of their couples, like same, same gender weddings and congratulated them with a Pride Month. You can use all of these opportunities to celebrate them and most likely they will repost it. They will just relieve all of these great moments and they will thank you once again for all the incredible work you've done for them. And uh, important reminder or important announcement, maybe if you didn't know that before, uh, we're going to be attending the Engage Summit in Florida this December, December 16, 19. So drop in a chat if you're also going to this event. So you can connect with us personally, with me and Alina uh, during those days in Florida on Amelia Island. We would love to see you there, to meet you there, and just to chat, to grab a cocktail and to talk about uh, the wedding market industry and yeah, all the great things. Yeah. So I don't see anyone. Well, who is coming? <laughs> Let's finally meet in person. Yeah, we will be dying to meet in person. I see that someone is going to engage. Yeah, you're going, Adri is going to Tuscany. I believe it will be amazing. So if someone is going this December, we will have our booth and we would love to see you there and uh, maybe 
even even uh, present you and give you some cool Wet Vibes merch, if you notice on a separate note, if you notice that this is the first deck that we crafted in new brand identity, <laughs> who noticed that it's a new era of Wet Vibes, <laughs> guys, it's a, like separate note. So we're excited to bring it to the world and see you and also, yeah, uh, present the new merch in the, in the new brand identity. So my question to you before we will wrap it up, my question to you, it's 100 people here now. What is the biggest insight or maybe something that you've been thinking about, but like you've heard it today and you decided, yeah, that is totally what I'm going to do. What's the most powerful idea or insight of today's session? Please put it in the chat. I hope that you have some because why I really want you to think about that and like make a note and maybe do some actions in the next 72 hours. Why I'm really encouraging you to do this because an hour before the session, Alex, I don't know, maybe I should give you a word. He connected with Dina, one of our students and also a member of Wet Vibes. And we've been encouraging her to do reels and we gave you a lot of inspiration and ideas what kind of reels to do. Alex, do you want to step in and just, uh, I will give you some time to shine or you want me to <laughs> share that? Yeah, you uh, really need to take an action. <laughs> yeah, sure. Let me just uh, pop up real quick. Hi guys, hi everyone. I was just, I had a call with Zina. She's one of our members and also one of our core students. Uh, she had a consultation with Alina and Daria and they encouraged her to do reels. And she started doing them. And one of her reels, uh, it was like a few months ago. One of her reels just got 32.6 million views. And she went from 2,000 followers to 19,000 followers in just a few months. So we're really proud for her. And we'll also um, show her testimonial later on. But uh, yeah, that's just a teaser. So I see that Pinterest touched your heart. All right. If it's Pinterest to you, please, in the next 72 hours, do something on Pinterest. If it's some kind of content like emotions or like Zina did, she just showcased the dress, basically sharing her, her vision on the inspiration. So if you like the idea of sharing the ideas, the idea of ideas and trends or experience, please do in the next 72 hours. And maybe that will be that real who will bring your, like the new audience. Because Zina, when we had the session with her, she had like what, 2000 followers, now it's 19. We are not chasing followers, but we're all chasing success. That is part of the journey. So I encourage you to do this. And not enough. I need to post more. Yeah, think, yeah, that, yeah that, that's fair. We know all about that. People are asking us to link the reel that went viral. I believe we can do it. Uh, yeah, we will do it. Maybe we can do it yeah, now or we can even share it in the follow-up email when we will share the recording. All right. That like I hope that beyond Pinterest, it's really great uh, insight and I encourage you to go on Pinterest. But again, Instagram is a huge platform. Please play with it. Please start incorporating all kinds of ideas that we put together. And I don't know what's wrong. We miss a picture here, but all right. So that was today was the first session. Uh, as I told you, you're like the first people who've seen and got access to all these insights and our thoughts. It's pretty fresh. We just crafted it a couple days ago, pretty much this night, to be honest, right? We always <laughs> crafted before the last minute. And the full report will cover three main pillars. It's wedding trends, then how couples choose vendors, and promotion. And we didn't really touch a lot promotion today. So the question to you, if you want to have a dedicated session based on this study about promotion, let us know in the comments, or you can always send us email or DM and let us know. And if you want, we will hold this session in September. And yeah, thank you, Rebecca. All right, three people. You know what? If we will have 50, yes, we will do this. <laughs> Joe, but really, it's important. Oh, to oh, 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 yeah, because <laughs> and that will be a great reward for the sleepless <laughs> night when we were crafting this insight that sounds <laughs> maybe too generic. But again, I hope that we inspired you to, to do at least one uh, step within the 72 hours, which is three days, I believe. All right, the final, re the like the uh, full report release will be September 10, as well as, as I said, that we secured publications with Harper Bazaar and Harvard Business Review. They will also publish the main highlights. Uh, and yeah, and if you want this session, I see that yes is coming. We will do the promotion session. And with that, 
Thank you so very much for joining us. Thank you for challenging us with your questions because it means that it matters to you. And it means that we have our mission in action if you share something that you have your opinion, that you have your thoughts. And of course, don't hold yourself giving us some kind words and feedback that you loved. Yeah, so it's, it's is... time to receive all the praises and all yeah, the yeah. because we worked so hard, not only me and Alina, but our team in terms of conducting those interviews, anal analyzing the data and yes, creating the stack. <laughs> So yeah, thank you for all your kind words. And I believe we have close to 50 yeses. So I think uh, we're gonna organize the next live session soon is in September. Yes, thank you, thank you so much. And we're thank gonna you. see you online. Oh, wait, wait, online. I want to take a picture of, okay. <laughs> hello, hello. Right. Um, yeah, yeah, I can see Kate. Yeah. All right, guys. Yeah, that was, the, oh yeah another person yeah <laughs> turn on your cameras yeah i love our love session live sessions and thank you for joining today and i hope we will meet soon in september the season will be slowing down in the rest of the world everywhere almost <laughs> yeah and we will meet soon and yeah, yeah we will release yeah. the study in september yeah thank you so much thank you guys bye bye bye